it's Faye. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, a lot has been on my mind and how are you gonna tell an overthinker to not think? So of course, I'm gonna unapologetically talk aloud because I acknowledge no regret in my feelings. <laughs> Go ahead, judge me, call me out for talking my feels. I've done this since forever, so if you're new here, hi, hello. This is a place of safe communication. I do not judge. <laughs> if I did, I wouldn't put myself in a position to be judged. If you've been here and you're not for these girl talks, heart to hearts, where we check in way too often than never, I just kindly ask you to click out and yes this is my disclaimer per usual I do this every time all my makeup's back here <laughs> isn't it ridiculous where we have to disclaim and apologize before even speaking versus like six years ago when I started doing this you didn't have to apologize for speaking why wow, look crusty I guess it's just a new generation we're dealing with it's a good and bad thing I guess before we get into it excuse how I look <laughs> I'm giving away two live and VOD tickets for AT's second anniversary online concert happening on Saturday, October 24th at 3 p.m. KST time. I'm so happy that my music taste reached out again in honor of my collab with ATs last year. If you want to attend like me, all you have to do is be a subscriber, follow me on Instagram, and then you have to comment your favorite part of my collab with ATs last year, the video. I'm gonna link it down below and comment on this video what your favorite part from that collab was. And of course, here's an extra bonus entry. You can clip or share your favorite part from any ATs Faye moments and share it on your Instagram or Twitter or your SNS using the hashtag two years with AT. I'm actually closing this giveaway pretty soon because we want winners by October 20th. 21st, so enter as much as you want. The more entries, the more chances. I love you guys and I hope you have fun. Yeah, I'm just gonna conceal my whole face. Dude, I've been obsessed with Blackpink Love Sick Girls, so I'm gonna attempt to do Jenny's eye makeup today. <laughs> what I talk about today, please know that it's coming from a place of protection and kindness. I honestly just wish for your understanding, but again, you are entitled to your opinion and I respect that whether we agree or not. Your voice is important to me just as much as my voice is important to me. I just don't want there to be like a misunderstanding between me and my Lindas and, and that's how I've been feeling lately with my uploads. <sighs> so I almost feel like I'm confronting you like I would a friend if I had like something bothering me. Let's keep Keep the comments open for discussion, but let's make it a productive discussion. Or you could just comment your favorite 80s moments. <laughs> I know I've been sharing my life more often with stories and vlogs, and a big part of my life right now is living with my boyfriend. He's an existing character of my life, so you're gonna see him, whether that's blurred or not. And I give you guys credit for catching all the little details. It's actually like super cute and funny. <laughs> I am fully aware that some people have been wanting my old content and that's the reason why some of you guys are here in the first place. My acne and makeup and skincare review videos. I completely understand, especially since I'm a viewer of my favorite YouTubers as well. So when they change up their content, I understand the feeling of, Ugh, I didn't sign up for this, you know, like I miss your old videos. But I kind of respect the shift of change in content and give you space whether that's me subscribing or unsubscribing i want you to know that that it's okay i'm happy i love skincare nothing will ever take that away from me especially helping people with acne problems and skin troubles because my skin is living proof of that i'm so passionate because i'm so compassionate for others and those who've gone through or who are going through skin troubles. I relate, I know the feeling, I know the challenges that emotional endurance do go through. Like I, I went through it too and I also still go through it. Yeah! <laughs> Sit ups. <laughs> oh man, wrong brush. Okay, you're gonna see a lot of that. <laughs> I feel like we are the Lindas because we relate with that. Regardless of the situation, we just relate and sometimes you unrelate and that's okay. I never shied away from any part of my journey, whether that's skin, weight loss, boys, ex-toxic best friends. I never shy away 
from expressing me. <laughs> I'm still working on myself and we all are. There's only so much I can keep talking about in six years over the same subject, you know? I hope you guys understand when I start finding new enjoyment in things that are a little different from what I started off with. I don't know why I felt like I had to say that or all of this, but I hope you guys know that I, I'm just not that 21 year old girl anymore. I've worked on myself since then and I grew. I went somewhere. I'm going somewhere, I hope. It's almost like I see my life in a timeline. Do I force myself to stay comfortably somewhere or do I take the adversity to grow and change, move forward, climb the ladder, or do I just hold on to that one spot and stay there for years and years while everyone around me, friends, family, people, strangers, whatever it is, the world evolves and changes. Do I stay back? I always put in my clips after I do my foundation because gotta get that hair on. Y'all know me and my clips. I cannot go anywhere without them. Essential. So anyway, yes, my content might change and might not change, but I find joy in what I vlog and sharing little aspects of my relationship. I know that some of you guys don't like it and it's okay. It's not for everyone. I acknowledge that and I expect that. You have the right to say whatever you want because your opinion is validated and you're entitled to your feelings, your thoughts, your voice, and your actions. Here comes the eyeliner part. <sighs> Am I the only one who dread eyeliner? It's kind of hard doing it with like a mirror in my lap. I know that if I put something up publicly, 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 it's me opening up a gateway for all types of opinions, good or bad. So if you don't want to hear anything bad, Faye, then don't post it up for the public. Duh, common sense, right? However, why are people gonna be so mean? Let me just uh, tight line. I, I'm coming from a place of defense, I guess. That's because I don't handle rude comments well. Okay, wait, let me rephrase that. When people talk rudely or mean about someone I deeply care about, it's kind of tough. <laughs> I don't care if you're rude and mean about me or talk about me because I've done this for so long that I've heard almost everything in the book but if it's about my family my friends my boyfriend bts i get defensive because i must protect our art course you will born to be alone okay so uh, i think i was beating around the bush you can say whatever you want when it comes to me uploading something publicly because it comes with the territory i'm not pointing my fingers at all if i upload something to the public expect the public to respond. I'm not dumb. I get the equation. It is what it is. Another thing I wanted to touch base on are the comments about how I'm going to regret this when I break up. <laughs> Fair. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. I know there's going to be some type of regret in me if we ever break up, but I don't know why you guys think I post recklessly without knowing that there are going to be consequences regardless of how things go down, good or bad. I'm aware and I still choose to post. I've always said this, if you go back and rewatch some of my get ready with me's, regardless of how this relationship goes, it's life. <laughs> Everyone goes through these things. Well, why do we have to shame ourselves if we post something that's not perfect or if we share something that's imperfect? Break up or not? Life. I've never really been a private person. Anyone who knows me, no. <laughs> I wear my heart on my sleeve. I am an open book. I've learned to be unapologetically myself and that took years to learn how to be. Buddha forbids that if something goes wrong and down this relationship or any relationship I have with friends and family, whatever it may be, given all love and effort, all I can do is embrace the journey because not everything we lose is a loss. I feel like a lot of us are hopeful humans and if you see me broken or if you ever see me broken, which you have, that's not a sign of weakness. I want you guys to know that that's just a sign of growth. They're going through something to grow, to change, to become better, to learn. I don't want to paint a perfect picture because I'm just like you. I don't want to paint a perfect picture as if I don't get sad seeing sea lions fall off a cliff to their death or freak out and have a panic attack when the fire alarm goes off because I burnt my chicken in the oven for dinner. I don't know. I'd rather be friends 
with someone who is clumsy, who go through up and down, who can laugh in embarrassment because same, girl same, versus someone who paints this unrealistic picture to trick people and make them feel shitty about their own life and compare why their life is not as perfect as someone who doesn't make any kind of mistakes. Given that, who would you rather be friends with? Just don't go around wishing bad upon people in their relationship. Because if it were yours, girl, I'd be your hype girl. Best mascara ever. The only mascara that holds up my Asian lashes. Anyway, as long as you're happy and you're practicing love, not hate, I'm gonna be the annoying friend you have that tells your boyfriend all these amazing stories about you and all those embarrassing moments. I'm that bitch. I'm just gonna put mascara on the outer thirds. I never really met a guy like my boyfriend and I know that when the camera turns on he can come off a little shy or tense I do too <laughs> still to this day I do too however I want you guys to know that I always ask him for permission and that's the same with posting and honestly he doesn't care he just doesn't care if I vlog or if I don't and that's because he just respects what I do I mean he started dating me going in knowing that this is just what I do sharing my life on the internet we enjoy watching our vlogs together it's the best when we reflect and talk about things I love those conversations when we actually reflect and we see it or well, some clips not all of it it's even better it has this special feeling anyway as I was saying until I was brutally disrupted by my uneven eyebrows my boyfriend encourages me to do me and he is the one to remind me to not care so much about what other people think for example last night i was starting to get a little i don't know i wouldn't say riled he just saw me reading comments and knew i was tensing up no more comments that's enough scrolling for tonight put your phone down and i really appreciate it i know that maybe his character doesn't come off that way especially on camera on my videos that's just 15 minutes of a vlog that you barely or rarely even see much of him and it hurts me that you guys just think he's this like douchey guy but at the end of the day it doesn't bother him though it bothers me why is my face drying up he just has good sportsmanship <laughs> and that's all i can ask for someone who's supportive i don't know i just chill and lay back doesn't phase him any hoosies i know that our relationship is not everyone's cup of tea and that's okay just like how not all of your relationships probably it's not my cup of tea either but i respect that we all work a little differently as long as you're happy loved you're not hurting yourself or others live just live experience make memories enjoy cry fight mess around just live and embrace your journey at the end of the day this is your life to tell not mine and i support you we're gonna go do my hair and i'll be right back Hello! I feel like you guys don't really get to see straight hair Linda, so... <laughs> Again, make sure to enter AT's second anniversary online concert, Port of Call, on Saturday, October 24th, 3pm KST. Subscribe, follow my Instagram, comment down your favorite AT's fave moment from the collab we did last year down below, and for an extra entry, share those moments on your social media using the hashtag, 2 years with AT's. Until next time, I'm sending love, bye!